How much does a Chinese carbon superbike cost? How do you choose the components and how on earth do you buy them? Now, by the end of the video, you will know the answer to all three. I have all these parts ready for my full build, so let's see how much they cost and how I purchase them. Don't act like you're not impressed. But first, Gordon, my long lost brother, is collecting things to put in this box. And one of you watching will win everything in this box. All you have to do is keep watching. We are also joined by Ali express and he is our technical nerdy expert who will pipe up throughout this video and give us invaluable technical info all about the components i have for my chinese carbon bike build in my poll you guys thought that the total cost of this build will be around insert amount here because the poll is still open <laughs> Let's start with the main event, the frame. Now, this is the Els for Laugh 2022 disc model with a custom paint job with my name on it. What a n I had direct contact with Els, which is how I got the custom paint job. And I recommend you do the same. The custom paint job was also no extra cost. It was included in the price. This frame costs $1,200 new. And full disclosure, I got this frame half price. As I explained to Els, I make YouTube videos. These videos do take around 10 hours to make. So I'm grateful for every collaboration of Penny Save to bring you guys and girls this content. I should probably stop being such a beg, shouldn't I? Jordan is five foot nine and went for a frame size large, which is a 52, including Included with the frame is a carbon seat tube, headset bearings, spare rear derailleur hanger, BB86 bottom bracket and spaces for the integrated stem and bars. The frame was ordered on May 29th and arrived on July 5th, so 36 days from ordering the frame to it being in Jordan's hands and him acting like a kid on Christmas morning. I chose the L's for laugh frame for a number of reasons. Now, Harry Mack doing a full build using an L's frame and explaining that he raced it a few times with no issues whatsoever. The clear communication with L's via WhatsApp. I spoke to them and got advice on sizing, gained confidence with them. And you don't get that with many companies these days, to be honest. The custom paint, this is the Chameleon two-tone paint, which looks unreal in the light. And we know that style is worth an extra five kilometers an hour. Impressive. The frame geometry, I compared the Els for Laugh Pro 2022 to my current bike using geometrygeeks.com and it was relatively similar in size. The integrated stem and bars. Now these are the Arom Aero Pro one piece integrated bars and stem. Despite looking the business and slotting perfectly into the frame, there is a little concern with the sizing and here is why. Now they are 38 centimeter wide bars, which I need for my bike fit. Now these bars only come in a nine centimeter reach if you get a 38 centimeter wide bar so the reach could be a little bit short we will see in a future video when hopefully i get a full fit on this race bike again these can be purchased directly from Els or aliexpress so whatever takes your fancy now these are compact bars with a drop of 125 millimeters the reach is 70 millimeters they have a fully integrated cable routing system so it'll be interesting to see mr jordan get his compressionless housing through them <laughs> what a fool there is a mounting point underneath for the GPS mount and they weigh a grand total of 398 grams. They are $220 new, so they're not exactly cheap AliExpress carbon. <laughs> the saddle is where one of our most important regions connects with our machine. Now I bought this EC90 saddle from AliExpress for a whopping $17. Now, if you look at this saddle, you may notice that it looks like a certain other saddle called the <coughs> Specialized Power Saddle. I've heard good things about both the EC90 and the Specialized Power Saddle, so I thought I'd give it a try. I bought this from AliExpress and it took around 14 days to arrive, which seems to be the going rate. It weighs 243 grams, but that's as exciting as it gets. The bar tape I'm using is West Biking. I bought it because I was making the order on AliExpress, so I thought I'll chuck it in. We'll see how grippy it is in a future video when I go for my first ride. The wheels. Now this is one area that I didn't splash out on, and there is one main reason for that. I bought a house, and despite planting a money tree in the garden, it's not growing in the UK climate. 
On a serious note, another $500 or so for wheels wasn't really necessary at the time. It's an easy thing to upgrade, which I'll do in the future with a fancy carbon set. Now, one day I was scrolling through eBay, looking at bike parts as you do, and I found the bargain of the century. And it was these Vision Team 35 aluminum wheels with the Ultegra rotors and the Shimano 105 cassette in pretty much new condition. I watched the bid in intently. I won the auction for $201. The Ultegra rotors alone are $53 each to start with, so I really did get a good deal here. And the wheels are around $236 new as well. These wheels are a 35 millimeter clincher with an internal measurement of 18.9 millimeters and 23.7 millimeters external measurement. They have sealed cartridge bearings. They have 24 spokes on the front and 24 on the rear. The disc is a central lock system and we have 142 by 12 millimeter through axles. They have a combined weight of 2,184 grams. In today's currency, that's about the same as a small elephant. Yeah, it's very heavy. Now these wheels are what I wanted. They are a solid wheel set for winter riding and training, you name it they can take it. Now, when the shiny new carbon wheels arrive, they can go up on the wall for my YouTube backdrop until the glorious UK weather delivers us a sunny day. Wishful thinking. The tires, now they are your only contact patch with the ground. And for me, it was pretty easy choice. And I went for the GP 5000s. I did a full review on a set of these tires that I had ridden 7,000 miles on and I pretty much had no issues the whole time. The GP 5000s are around $80 for the pair, so still pretty expensive, but the world we live in, peeps. The tires that Jordan will purchase are 25 millimeters as this fits well with the rims. The frame can handle 28 millimeter tire if you wanted it to. It is also a clincher tire to be used with an inner tube. What is this, the 90s? They weigh a claimed 240 grams per tire, so 480 grams in total. If Jordan ordered quicker, I may actually be weighing them myself. Captain Sassy. With any luck, this should be a quick bike once it's complete. So I need good brakes to slow me down. Now I went for the Juin Tech F1 Hydro Mechanical Brakes, which cost around $150 from AliExpress, which is relatively expensive for AliExpress. I would have preferred hydraulic brakes, but at this moment in time, there are no hydraulic group sets available from AliExpress. If there is, do let me know. Now, I wanted decent brakes on this bike. I'll test other AliExpress brakes in the future, but I want this bike to be solid and high performance. There are good reviews online with people speaking highly of them. The hydro mechanical braking system should be better performance than just the mechanical braking, which is the best outcome given the circumstance. These brakes have a hydraulic reservoir inside the caliper that is controlled by a standard brake cable. They are flat mount calipers and have a dual piston system for braking. The manufacturer recommends you pair these with 160 millimeter rotors, which also come in the box. The calipers and the disc weigh a total of 560 grams in total. I've actually not seen these brakes have the option of a center lock system for the disc on AliExpress. So that's something to consider if you have center lock wheels, which I do. Now I'm gonna use the Ultegra disc, which are center lock that came with the wheels and I'll probably use these on my other bike or save them for a rainy day. <laughs> Brake cables aren't that exciting. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are Jaguar Pro Kevlar reinforced compressionless brake housing, which stop the outer cable from pinching the inner cable, giving you better braking performance, which you're gonna need with all those bends through your integrated bars. From what I've read, these actually help massively with braking when you compare the Jaguar standard cables to the Pro cables, which have the compressionless housing. So let's see how they get on and they should work well with the Juintec F1 brakes. So a crucial part of the bike that transfers all your power to the rear wheel is the group set. Now I've gone for the Sensor Empire Pro group set and there are a few reasons why. The group set is well reviewed online. I've seen many videos where people have done thousands of miles without issue. The look, it's a bold statement, but I think this looks as good as maybe like the Shimano 105. I'll be waiting for all the hate in the comments. The price at $272 without brakes, 
it's an absolute bargain. I didn't go for the carbon version of this group set because basically it only gives you carbon levers and that's not really worth $60 extra for me. Now I bought this group set from AliExpress and if you buy the crank set separately from other parts, then you have way more options. Now that's what I done to get the exact specification and style that I wanted. This may cost a little bit more to buy them separately, but if you get the customization and style you want, then it's worth it. This is the 11 speed version. There is also a 12 speed version available on AliExpress. The shifters shift the same as SRAM. The rear derailleur is a long cage to allow for the 3211 cassette. The shifters weigh a combined 487 grams. The rear derailleur is 198 grams. The front derailleur is 100 grams and the cassette is 360 grams. That gives a combined total of 1,146 grams for all of those parts of the group set. I think we're meant to be impressed. The chain also came with the group set and is branded as Ling Mai, I believe you pronounce it. It weighs a total of 270 grams. The crank set that I went for is the Senex PR3. I saw a lot of bundles on AliExpress where the group set came with a Z race crank, but that wasn't what I wanted, which is why I bought the cranks and the group set separately. I see Jordan has gone for the 5236, so 52 teeth on the big chain ring and 36 on the smaller chain ring. The crank arm length is 170 millimeters. The crank arms weigh a total of 601 grams. The chain rings weigh 205 grams. The bottom bracket weighs 77 grams, bringing the grand total to 881 grams. Everything I bought from AliExpress arrived within 15 days, which is what they stated on the listing, and I have paid a grand total of zero import tax and that is to the UK where I'm based. So the cost, how much were all these components? Now most of you from the poll thought that it would be between $1,600 and $1,900 and it was in fact, drum roll please, $2,050. Let's have a quick heart to heart. Now I feel very grateful to be able to purchase all of these things and create these videos. So I just wanna say I really appreciate your time for watching, for liking, for subscribing. It's been amazing recently and hopefully I can bring more builds like this to you. To give something back throughout this video, Gordon has been looking for stuff in my, uh, my little man cave for things that we can give away. Now to win all of these items, all you need to do is like the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. The full bike build will be coming in the next video, so keep an eye out and subscribe for that to make sure you don't miss it.